We're here at uh, night two of the PBR World Finals, Las Vegas, Nevada, outside the Thomas and Mack Center. I'm here with Zane Lambert. Zane uh, rode the bull uh, buck wild last night for 84 and a quarter points. Uh, how was that ride last night? Uh, it was a little wild. He it didn't really have a, his best day. He kind of ended up going straight for a while before he turned back, but uh, I got an 84 out of it, and it was good in, the short, in that rank pen. Got a score and ended up six for the round. Give me a really good pick here for today. Um, Pazabon and Aaron and you know some of those other guys have been here all year and Caleb Sanderson and he said he got on him and and they've seen him a few times and he I think he's gonna fit me pretty good he's just around to the right blows up real big and then he just evens out around to the right and keeps going uh, they're pretty high scores on him they've been 88 87 so he'll be uh, a handful but um, the guys are getting by him so uh, Hopefully I can get by him today too and I can get a score and that's going to be the biggest thing because that's going to put me in the average for the rest of the week and then I get to stay here so and I'll get five more or four more shots. So um, that's really important to, to get that score today. Absolutely because you got to stay in the top 15 to be, uh, to be able to keep going here and that, that boy you got tonight, uh, Wilson, um, you've seen him before and everything is going to be a good draw. Um, can you tell me a bit more about that, uh, that bull and being here at the World Finals? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sweet coming in here, and, and, and this year the way this format is, if I stay in the top 15, I get to stay all week, so uh, as soon as I bump out of the top 15, I'm, I'm out, I'm done for the week, so um, really important to get this one road, and, and then I'll be here all week, so that's uh, that's the big king, and it's pretty cool being down here and riding against some of these guys, and these guys helping you out, or whether it be uh, helping you out in the dressing room with a couple small things, or, or you know, just giving you a high five when you do good, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a good confidence builder, and and uh, feel pretty confident coming into this round. It should be good. So, absolutely. Um, another thing, talking about confidence, you just switched and you got a helmet uh, on here, to, or you had a helmet on last night. That's a new thing. Uh, coming in and not really starting right with riding with a helmet and changing this far into the game. How's that uh, for you? Uh, you know, I don't really notice it too much at all. Uh, I rode with one growing up. Uh, and steer riding and, and, and even into the bull riding for a while I was wearing one and then I wore a mask for a while and, and I took it off just for some you know some some kind of mental and riding uh, reasons that I, I needed to you know not get jerked down not get in the horns and I was felt a little too confident with my helmet before so um, took it off for a while and uh, come back down here getting on these ranked bulls I figured I'd throw it back on just for you know just maybe keep me going to the next round and, and uh I uh, felt comfortable last night, and it's a good little setup, so uh, I'll try it again tonight, and you know, we'll see. We'll just keep trying it. Well, best of luck to you, Zane, here, and uh, we'll uh, catch up with you here, I'm sure, a few more nights when you win some more money. Thank you. Thanks, Zane. Uh, for uh, 3D Bull Riding and everything Cowboy.ca, I'm uh, Ted Stoven.